Shalom guys, Shalom sisters, Shalom brothers. Many of you are asking me how can we, how should we prepare ourselves for this holy day, holy days of Rosh Hashanah, the first day of the new year by the Jewish calendar. I have really a simple one thing to tell you how to prepare yourself for this holy day. Know how excellent you are, how beautiful you are, how amazing you are, how super wonderful and blessed you are. Look only on your qualities, see only the good inside of yourself. Fight against all voices of negativity that are showing and bringing evidence to you to bring and downgrade your, your self-esteem. Ignore all those negative thoughts of sadness, of judgments, that you're not good enough, that you're not prepared enough, that you're not righteous enough, that you're not pure enough, that you're not wealthy enough, that you're not deserved, that you're not worthy. This is all junk. Those are all negative thoughts that are coming from side of darkness and they are destroying the world with their impact on us. Attach yourself to the light, to the good. Recognize the real goodness of your spirit and know that that is who you really are. That is the light that is shining from the root of your soul and that is who you really are. You are who you are and your name is like Hashem, the Creator's name. When Moses asked Hashem, how will the nation of Israel know that I am a true messenger? Hashem answered him, tell them, I am who that I am sent you to them. That I am who that I am and I sent you to them. Ask yourself now who you are, your answer will be similar. You are who you are. You are a portion of godliness from above. You're a heavenly soul and the light of your soul is shining from within. Attach yourself to your own goodness. Be brave to express your feelings and your emotions and your thoughts, your ideas and your visions, your hopes and your goals and your truth. And don't let the darkness that is downgrading your self-esteem, that is breaking your self-esteem, that makes you feel bad with yourself and blaming you and judging you, criticizing you and slaughtering you alive to take possession on your life and on your being. You are good. You are who you are. You are a heavenly portion of God, your holy soul. You don't need to be Jewish to be a holy soul. You don't need to be a Hasid to be a holy soul. You can be who you are and to be a holy soul. You can shine to the world the light that's been treasured inside of you with no end to reveal the blessings that you've been blessed with, the treasures that's been treasured inside of you unique gifts that no other person on earth been blessed with. You are a light of the Creator that is shining out to the world. Believe in yourself and people will enjoy the prosperity and bounty that will shine from you to all your surroundings. May the Creator bless us all as one with no end to have a wonderful and blessed year, year of redemption, of salvation, of amazing, amazing, wonderful things to take place in our days, in our lives, in our hearts. May all our prayers will be answered in no time, above time, above place, immediately. In this present time with the Creator's existence, the blessed present, Havaya Baruchu, and may the light of truth shine from within and up on us all. Amen. The world does not exist because Olam Milchon Elem. The world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.